Hey guys, I have a Tuesday morning editorial for you. I do have one. Are you guys ready to be really upset? Are you ready to be mad? Oh, you guys are going to love this one, man. You know, it gets better and better. Right when you think, you know what? I think law enforcement officers might be getting better. I know, and they're high. You, know, you, you read a story like this and you go, you know what? Now I know that, that stuff like this happens through across all walks of life, all occupations, all people. But the thing is, when you look at a law enforcement officer, <clears throat> and again, somebody talked to me about this in criticism and said, you know, it's a shame that law enforcement officers can't be held to the same standard as other people. I mean, give them a fair shake. They're people. They have a job. Give them a fair shake. We, we're hard on cops, you know. And But here's the thing. It's like a pastor of a church. A pastor of a church, um, you know, he's, he's a pastor of a Christian church, let's say, a Protestant Christian church. And people look to him who believe in God and believe that you shouldn't sin and whatnot. And you come up and you, hey, pastor, can I talk to you for a minute? And he turns around yeah and he picks up a beer and drinks it and he goes well look at that chick man she's got a nice ass you know you'd be like pastor whoa you know but he's a man but we hold him to a higher standard and that's within the christian realm now i'm not preaching to you guys don't get, don't go oh my god he's off the rails i'm just using that as an example because now we come over to law enforcement and law enforcement officers are out there. They have to arrest people that are breaking the law or give them citations, you know, or they have to do something to someone that's breaking a law. Law enforcement officers have to enforce that law and say, you know what? You're breaking the law. You did this. We have to take action. We have to, you know, you're going to get a citation or you're going to get arrested or you're going to, you, you know, we have to do something. <clears throat> so when a law enforcement officer then does the same thing, how can he then go back and enforce laws having done that, having been a lawbreaker? And we're talking about a law enforcement officer here that has multiple charges and allegations. <clears throat> well, more than one, let's put it that way. So how can a law enforcement officer then go back and, and try to be a law enforcement officer if he's out there breaking the law, you see? So that's why I say we hold law enforcement officers to a higher standard. They have to be because they're the ones who are enforcing these laws. How can they then be breaking these laws? How can you break the law and then go out and arrest someone for it? Like, what about you? And you're going to find out why I'm saying all this in just a second. Because the old adage to this editorial is fuck up, move up. A Montebello police lieutenant taken into police custody on two previous occasions uh -huh, was arrested last week on suspicion of driving under the influence of a drug in San Bernardino County, a police sergeant said. <clears throat> Montebello police lieutenant Christopher Cervantes' most recent brush with law enforcement occurred in the city of Montclair a little after 8.10 a.m. on Wednesday when he was involved in a non-injury traffic crash, Montclair police sergeant Andy Graziano said. Cervantes, 47, was arrested on suspicion of driving under the influence of a drug, Graziano said. He was booked at San Bernardino County Jail, CDC. Authorities released him later that afternoon. Now, I couldn't find pictures of any of these people. Uh, I tried to find pictures of Cervantes for you. I tried to find a picture of Graziano. I can't find pictures of any of these guys. It's like they're undercover in the night. Uh, but I can't find them. But they did say, police believe that he rear-ended another car near the intersection of San Bernardino Street and Monte Vista Road in Montclair, Police Lieutenant Brian Ventura told the Daily Bulletin. Well, at least he crashed near a hospital. Yeah, he crashed near the medical center. So, hey, if he got hurt, it, it was not an injury, but if he had got hurt, they could have just walked him over to the hospital. Uh, <laughs> Cervantes was placed on paid vacation. That's right. Administrative leave following Wednesday's arrest. Montebello Police Chief Brad Keller told the newspaper. 
Montebello Police Lieutenant D. Kim told City News Service that an internal police investigation has been launched in connection with Cervantes' latest arrest. So here we go. In 2015, Cervantes was arrested in an alleged drug DUI incident after crashing his car into a tree in Diamond Bar. He tested positive for acetaminophen, butyl, 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 <laughs> codeine, and morphine. Bunch of shit. How about that? A pain reliever prescription drug, according to court documents. The Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office declined to file charges, citing lack of evidence, the Daily Bulletin reported. Of course it did. Oh, we're not going to tell you. We don't have evidence. <laughs> Bye. The L.A. County District Attorney's Office declined to file charges. You freaking know if that wasn't a cop, if that was Joe off the sidewalk, that guy would have been charged with a slew of stuff. A property damage into a tree, driving DUI, whole bunch of stuff. But this cop Cervantes, yeah, we're not going to file charges. We don't have evidence. You have a guy crashing into a freaking tree testing positive for drugs. What do you mean, lack of evidence? Well, they, they lost the test. In 2011, Cervantes was detained after resisting arrest, a cop resisting arrest. <clears throat> I'm a cop. In 2011, Cervantes was detained after resisting arrest at a San Diego hotel party, falsely claiming to police officers that he was a federal agent. According to a police report, he was not charged in the case, according to San Diego's Superior Court records, the Daily Bulletin reported. He was not charged in the case. I'm a federal agent. No, he's a cop out of Montebello, but he was not charged. Yet two people who have claimed to be cops here uh, in the news in the last month or two have both been arrested. And they should have been. They were they were uh, those fake uh, cop impersonators. They were arrested. This guy, eh, you know what? Eh, we're not going to file charges. He claimed to be a federal agent and he was a police officer in this in a city and they didn't file charges. Isn't that against the law? Isn't that illegal? Making a lot of faces because this one is just I'm appalled, but we're not done yet. Let's do a quick summation here. We've got a police officer, police lieutenant who in 2011 was detained after resisting arrest at a party and claiming to be a federal agent. He was a cop. In 2015, crashes his car into a tree and tests his positive for acetaminophen, blah, 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 codeine, and morphine, and no charges. This year, just Wednesday, crashes into a car, arrested for DUI, on paid administrative leave. We're waiting to see if they're going to file charges. Oh, but let's back up to 2015. Let's back up to 2015. Since his most recent arrest in 2015, Cervantes was promoted from sergeant to lieutenant. Fuck up, move up. 2011. I'm a federal agent. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm a cop. 2015 crashes into a tree, test positive for drugs. After that, promoted to sar from sergeant to lieutenant. And then this year crashes into a car and alleged DUI. Now, he'd probably be a captain by the time he gets off paid administrative leave. Shit, this guy's going to be police chief by Christmas. I don't know what you guys think in the description box below or the comment section below. I'm going to put this story in the description box. There is a news story video in this story. It's in the description box below. You can go watch the news video and see what they say about it. I, I don't know, man. I, this is a weird editorial. I'm not doing it over. Hope you guys uh, weren't bored by this. I I, I I tried to read it like a news guy and it, with a straight face. I couldn't do it. It's, it's fun, man. What the hell is going on in Montebello, California? What is going on in Montebello? Where is Montebello? I know it's up north somewhere. Hold on. <clears throat> we're going to look it up real quick, guys, because I want to see who we're going to send on this uh, story. I like to send people out on uh, the news 
projects. <clears throat> City of Montebello. <clears throat> oh, that's right. It's right here. <clears throat> so the City of Montebello is in East LA. East LA. Remember that? Born in East LA. Um, so Montebello, that's right, is down here in East Los Angeles, uh, around Pico Rivera, Boyle Heights, Monterey Park. Hey, Johnny Five O, Johnny, you get Bell, and both of you go out here to the Montebello Police Department and find out what's going on for us. Well, yeah, this freaking guy, man. Come on, Johnny, get out there. Maybe SGV News first. Can can yeah, I think he's around the area? Maybe I don't know how far is San Gabriel Valley. But we know that Johnny's over here. Furry Potato. One of you guys get over there to Montebello Police Department and find out what's going on. News Now You Kaipa. Happy Tuesday, guys. I got to go pour my coffee and get to work and get the kid to school. Online schooling. It's fun. Talk to you guys later. News Now You Kaipa. Letting you know what's going on with law enforcement across your nation and particularly in Montebello, California. <laughs>